I'm Roy Robertson. Today on Good Business San Diego, we welcome back Dr. Jenny Papazian, a cardiologist with Kaiser Permanente San Diego, as we'll discuss a topic that touches everyone watching today, and that is heart health. Cardiovascular disease still the number one cause of death in the United States. Dr. Papazian is here with some advice on how to recognize heart issues and react to them as quickly as possible. And Dr. Papazian, we're going to emphasize quick reaction. What symptoms do we need to look for, and what's the trigger that says we need to see a physician? Good morning, everyone. Heart disease is still the number one killer in the U.S., so I urge you, if you're having symptoms, typical symptoms of heart attack include chest pain or pressure radiating down the arm or up the neck or jaw. If you're having any of these symptoms, please call 911 and seek medical care. If you're having more atypical symptoms, shortness of breath, some sort of chest discomfort when you exert yourself, these are also alarming symptoms to get evaluation for. Have people been reluctant in the pandemic to seek out medical attention just in general and uh, caution them about the hesitation that they may have as far as getting that treatment? We have definitely seen a delay in, in getting care, uh, patients presenting after they've already had their heart attack. Time really is crucial when we're talking about the heart. So really we wanna catch symptoms before the onset of a heart attack. So that's why I'd like to emphasize COVID or not, I really urge you to make sure you're seeing your physician if you're having concerning symptoms so that you can get the proper evaluation and care that you need. Quick response could save your life. Let's talk about advancements in diagnosing a heart attack. Is it easy to know if a patient has had a heart attack? It is. For the most part, along with the symptoms we've already mentioned, an EKG and lab tests are typically the combination of things we look at to diagnose a heart attack. Sometimes we need additional testing. Well, let's talk about the treatment options that are available to you. It's obviously advancing. So what are the options? Do most people now require surgery or, or what's the protocol? So not necessarily that every patient having a heart attack will need open heart surgery. Many patients um, will undergo an angiogram or catheterization to look at the arteries of the heart. And many times we can fix any blockages using stents rather than patients needing open heart surgery. Okay, great. We still have about a minute left here. So is there such a thing as preventing a heart attack? Or what would you say about how people watching today can at least minimize the risk? There are definitely measures you can take to lower your risk of heart disease. One of the main things is keeping in contact with your physician, getting regular checkups, checking your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels. If you're diabetic, making sure your blood sugar levels are controlled really leading an active lifestyle, incorporating any form of physical activity into your daily routine, whether that's taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking far away when you go to the grocery store, and also really watching what you're eating, eating a heart healthy diet, focusing more on plant-based foods and less animal products. The combination of these measures really can help reduce your risk of heart disease. Yeah, and again, it's all about awareness too. I think sometimes we just tend to dismiss oh, it'll pass, you know, it could be uh, something else unrelated, but you really need to be more in tune with what your body's telling you, right? Absolutely. Okay, great. Dr. Jenny Papazian, thank you so much for coming in. Best of health to you and to thank everybody you. watching today. And again, it's all about uh, the awareness. So now you've learned a little bit more. You can go to Kaiser Permanente's website and search heart health at kp.org. There's lots of information for you there. Again, it's heart health at kp.org. Stay healthy and stay aware of the conditions that could lead to greater heart problems.